My name is Mike Stroh. I am a lived experience mental health advocate, educator, speaker, and I've created something called the State of Mind Festival, and it is a culmination of work with high schools, post-secondary institutions, mental health agencies, and mental health hospitals, parents, families, people within the mental health system, and we're trying to bring a different perspective to that work. I lived with addiction and other mental health problems for a really long time, and I still live with some of them. My brother lives with schizophrenia, and we both had a lot of trouble as teens, but there was no mental health awareness, no mental health conversations. There was no kind of understanding of all these complex issues. When I was younger, maybe things could have been different for us, or at least conversations or awareness may have happened that might have benefited us or our family in certain ways. And the only way I've been able to heal and recover and become well is because I learned how to discuss and talk about my feelings. And so that was what I started to build upon. And that's still very much what the conversation is today. It's what is mental health? What is mental illness? What is addiction? Like what, are, what is recovery? What is well-being? What do these things even mean? And what do they look like in people's lives? So part of that different experience or that different perspective is one of like an inside out perspective of this is how I felt. This is what it looked like emotionally. And this is kind of how I've gone about healing myself. That's not a unique situation. What's unique is peers or people with lived experience being incorporated into the mental health system as guides or as people that are changing the way that we care for the client or the person or the family involved in the healthcare system. I'm just part of this movement that's happened over the last 10, 15 years of peer support workers, another voice to the layer, to the system. And the more time that goes on, the more this perspective is being shown to be incredibly valuable. And it's been missing for a long time and it's really helping move all of this forward. It's the first ever State of the Mind Festival. And really the essence of the festival is giving young people an opportunity to express themselves creatively without the normal judgment and criticism or feedback or whatever it is that they normally get on a daily basis. My story or my situation may not be the same as many others, but what is the same are the feelings the hopelessness, the fears, the anxieties, the pains, the suffering, all the torment that exists in lots of people's lives. And that's what we need to relate to. I want to create spaces for conversations about mental health that change lives.